guys, this is Faith Hunter and welcome to Spiritually Fly Sequences. Today's practice is a morning yoga flow to help you awaken the body and also set your intention for the day. All you need to do is move mindfully and breathe. Beginning in mountain pose at the top of your mat, breathe deeply in and out through your nose, feet are about hip bone distance apart. Relax the shoulders and then slowly sweep the arms over your head Interlace your fingers and press the palms up to the sky. Once you get there, take a few stretches from right to left. So leaning to your right and then leaning to your left, keeping the feet grounded so you're really stretching out the right and left sides of your body. Keep your chest forward, stretch over, take your time, and then slowly release your hands. Bow forward hanging over your legs and soften your knees. Feel free to bounce a little bit or even sway gently from right to left. And one of my favorite things to do, hands to opposite elbows. Keep your neck relaxed so the head hangs heavy. Release your fingertips and slowly roll up, come to stand, mountain pose. Inhale the arms over your head. Press your palms together this time. Stretch your fingers over to the right side. Now this time we'll hold for an extra breath or two, rooting down through your left foot, keeping your chest forward. Inhale back to center and then stretch over to your left, pressing down through your right foot. Draw the belly in, deep inhale and exhale. Fold forward, release your fingertips to the mat, shake your head up. Step your right foot all the way behind you and soften the right knee to the mat. Now, if your knee is sensitive, you can always place a blanket underneath. Fingertips are still on the floor, and when you're ready, lift your right knee off the floor. You're in a low lunge. Press your palms firmly into the mat and step your left foot back for down dog. And once you get into your down dog, hips are in the sky, but bend your knees from right to left. Slowly. Bring your shoulders over your wrists, come into plank, lower your knees and chest, and lift your heart up for cobra pose. Feel free to twist gently from right to left if that feels good for your neck and spine. Then bring your hips to your heels for child's pose, extending through your fingertips and stretching out the side body. Curl the toes and lift your hips to the sky, downward facing dog. Gazing right there between your inner thighs, Press your heels generously to the mat. Slowly begin to walk your feet all the way back to the top of the mat. Lift your chest up halfway, hands to mat or shins, and then fold forward over both legs. Slowly roll up, come to stand, and exhale, mountain pose. Inhale, arms rise, lift them up. Exhale, fold forward over your legs. Lift up halfway, fingertips to the mat, Step your left foot back now, lower the left knee to the mat, hands stay on the floor, gazing forward, chest forward. Your back toes are curled under, so lift your left knee off the mat, low lunge. Hold here for a few breaths, deep inhale, exhale. Press the palms to the mat and then step your right foot back to meet your left, downward facing dog. Inhale to plank pose, shoulders over your wrist, Lower your knees, chest, and chin to the mat. Press into the tops of your feet and lift your heart up for cobra. Keep those arms hugging in and again. You can gently twist to right and left. Bring your hips to your heels for a nice easy child's pose, extending through your arms and fingertips. Curl the toes under slowly and draw your hips to the sky, downward facing dog. Gazing between your inner thighs, feet are hip bone distance apart. Slowly walk those lovely feet back to the top of your mat. Soften the knees, lift up halfway, hands to mat or shins, or you can always keep the legs completely straight. Come all the way up to stand, arms rise, exhale, hands to your heart center. Take a deep breath in, exhale. Sweep the arms over your head, arch back this time, and then fold forward. Lift up halfway to prepare, Fingertips to the mat, right foot steps back. Lower your right knee down to the mat. Or you can lift the back knee off the floor. 
Let's take a twist. Left arm goes to the sky. Gaze past your left fingertips. Reach back through your right heel if the knee is off the mat. Keep your left knee stacked over your left ankle. Lower your left hand to the mat and slowly straighten your front leg. Draw the left hip back and soften over your left thigh. Two more breaths here. Deep inhale, exhale. One more breath and then step forward. Fold over the top of your mat. Inhale, come all the way up to stand. Exhale, hands to your heart. Sweep the arms up. Arch back and open your chest. Fold forward with the ease. Take your time, prepare to lift up halfway, hands to mat or shins. Step your left foot all the way behind you. And again, left knee on or off the mat. Do what feels best for your body. Slowly lift the right arm up to the sky. Even though your left hand is on the mat, try not to put too much weight into it. Feel your right hip draw back in space and the center of your chest extend past your right fingertips. Lower the right hand to the floor, frame your foot, and straighten your right leg. Hold in here for a few more breaths. Keeping the hips square and balanced. Take your time when you're ready, and we'll step back into downward facing dog. Shoulders over your wrist one more time. Lower your knees and chest to the mat. Point the toes and peel your heart up for cobra pose. Keep those shoulders relaxed. Slowly draw your hips back so you come into down dog and straighten the legs. Deep breath in, spread the fingers wide across the mat. Take your time, start to walk your feet to the front and fold over both legs. Rise up, come to stand, and return to your mountain pose. Shake it out a little bit if you need to. Reset. Feet are together or slightly apart. Bend the knees, sink your hips for chair pose. And we're taking a twist. Simply sweep your right arm back. Keep your left arm alongside your left ear. Hold here. Keep the hips sinking. Chest up. Inhale, palms come together over your head. Rise to stand up. Exhale, hands back to your heart. Bend the knees, sweep the arms over your head for your chair pose once again. Finding your twist, left arm sweeps back, spine is extending up, right arm is alongside your right ear, left arm is behind you. Inhale the left arm back up to meet the right, come to stand, open your heart. Exhale, fold forward over both legs. Shake it out where you need to with that neck. Bend the knees, soften a little bit. Lift up halfway and slowly step back to downward facing dog. Drift your body forward into plank. Lower your knees and chest to the mat. Press into the tops of your feet as your heart lifts for your cobra pose and bring your hips to your heels for child's pose. Holding here or if you'd like, Walk your hands over to the right side. So they may come off your mat as you stretch through the left side of your body. Again, opening up that side body, but keep your hips heavy towards your heels. Release there and walk your hands over to the left side, sinking your hips towards the right and expanding through the right rib cage. Walk your hands back to center slowly lift up swing your legs out in front of you give them a little shake flex your feet lift your chest and extend forward now your legs can be together or slightly apart your hands can come to your shins your ankles your feet but try to keep your spine long don't overdo it if you need to you can soften your knees but again take your time and do what feels best for your body. Holding here in this forward fold. Flex your feet and soften into you. Breathing in, exhale. Make any adjustments that your body may need. 
Inhale, slowly come up. And go on and turn towards me. Cross your ankles. Release any tension in your neck or shoulders. Kind of move them around where you need to. And of course, if you need to sit on a blanket, you can. Drop your right ear and left ear over to one shoulder, then the other. And then bring your palms together at your heart center. Begin to set your intention for the day. Thank yourself for showing up this morning and doing what you needed to do for you. Deep breath in, exhale, namaste. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and of course subscribe so you can receive more of my yoga, meditation, and lifestyle tips. You can also find and connect with me on Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat, where I am Spiritually Fly. And of course, you can find me on Twitter, where I am Faith Hunter Yoga. Thanks so much, guys, for joining me here. And you know, we are in this together. So let's continue to get Spiritually Fly.